in this particular session we will continue with our next application from the pen tester lab so let's get started the application was already installed android 02 by pen tester lab so again we have the same objective we need to figure out what was hard coded and where to figure out the hard coded value this time i'll go with the same jdx here and browse for my android 02 application go with the open now i'll go with the manifest file first to figure out the package name so if we just go with the second line here and scroll it towards the right hand side you can see the package name was com.pentesterlab.android02 it means the main class was located inside this particular folder or you can even figure out the main activity here as well and the activity name was main activity so just follow the folders part com pentesterlab.android and here you can see we got the main activity inside the main activity you can see we are simply declaring our class here uh, the class name was main activity and inside that class we defined two variables first one was pin that will be used for your edit text here we have a edit text here and second we got a button with the name submit part after this declaration we got the on create method where we use our try block inside the try block we simply define an object for my input stream and the object name was open and with this particular open object we simply open an asset and the asset was a data.sqli database we will simply deal with the sqli database here with the help of this open object after that part we scroll down towards this right side here you can see the database was located inside this slash database and then data.sqlit is the file name and this slash database is the folder which was located inside my application package here inside application package we got the database folder and in database folder we got the data.sqlite database after this part you simply say let's say we simply open a file output stream to get the content we close this open object here and then we simply call a method with the name file output stream dot close to close the file output stream here after that part if you scroll down a little bit more you can see we got one more method here with the name on click that on click is the method which will be triggered for this particular button because on top of this method declaration you can see we have a on click listener here so this on click listener was used for this particular button and this on click method will be triggered for this view element for this particular button view element so inside this on click listener you can see we have two different conditions out there and if both the conditions were true we simply define an intent or the intent name was again the intent here and this particular intent will interact with your message activity dot class file and we added some extra elements here as pin and we have added our input after converting it into string part and then we simply start the message activity class there so let's go with the message activity code just go with the right click go to the declaration and inside this message activity class you can see we have our on create method and in the on create method you can see we got an if condition after collecting our intent after handling the intent collecting the extra values and then we got the if condition if this particular condition was true then we simply define a variable name key here which will deal with key dot class file if key was not null then we will show the message the key is and we simply call this particular function here function was key dot get pt lab underscore key if both the if this particular condition is true then we define the variable key here which is if not a null we will simply show a message the key is and the particular function here so if i go with the function right click go to declaration again then here you can see we simply call return dot this dot pt lab underscore key here now the important point if you go with the message activity class or if you just go with this main activity class here here you can see we are dealing with the assets it means there was a predefined database at the time of development your developer define an database 
in the database name was data.sqlite if there was any database that was defined at the time of development that database will be stored inside your assets folder here under resources you will get your asset folder and inside the asset you will get your data.sqlite file which is not directly accessible inside your jdx here so to decompile this application what we have to do here is just follow the jdx if you want you can go with apk tool as well or you can go with some other like android studio and other decompilers as well it's completely your call but right now i'll go with the jdx then i'll simply set the path where my file is located and for that you can simply drag and drop the application then i'll go with hyphen d for the output directory and i'll store the output inside my desktop and just hit enter this will give us a folder so we got the resources folder here inside resources you will get your asset folder and inside asset you can see we got our data.sqlite file to access this file just go with the same terminal here browse the folder cd desktop then resources then your asset folder and inside asset we got our file so just here go with your sqlite browser and then pass your file name as data.sqlite and here you can see we have four different tables key pin android underscore metadata and sqlite underscore sequence there are four tables out there and to browse the content for these four tables go with your browse data and then you can pick your tables from here you can just browse them one by one if you go with the key part here if we just go with this table with the name key you can see we got a value and this was the hard coded element here that's all in this particular scenario have a good day and stay connected